So you wanting to read more young adult middle grade fantasy? Well go no further because I have a recommendation video for you. Hi guys, it's Samantha and I am here today with a recommendation video. I'm going to be recommending a bunch of middle grade and young adult fantasy books, but I'm going to be choosing ones that you don't hear a lot about. So they might not be familiar to you, but they are excellent and I th think that you would like them if you are interested in that kind of a thing. Or they would even be a good place to start if you're just wanting to get into more fantasy. So stay tuned because I will now show you guys a bunch of awesome books that I think are fantastic, but are geared more towards middle grade and young adult. So the first series that I want to talk about today is a classic. It is The Pre-Dain Chronicles by Lloyd Alexander. I first read these books back in middle grade, and this is a middle grade series, so the last book or the last two books are, could be considered more young adult. It is a classic. The first book, The Book of Three, actually just celebrated its 50th anniversary. Excellent coming of age hero fantasy story. It follows our young hero, Terran, who kind of gets brought up in a set of adventures to vanquish the evil overlord. He ends up assisted on his adventure by several companions whose names I'm now going to butcher. Elowin, which again, I don't know if these are how you pronounce their names, how I've always pronounced them, who is a very strong-willed and adventurous princess. Flinder Flam, who I'm again sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, who is a bard, a rather poor bard in terms of performance and money, but wonderful nonetheless, as well as Gurgi, who is this half-man, animal-like creature. Terran is supposed to be the keeper slash guardian of Henwen, who is this prophetic pig. pig. Henwen ends up getting kidnapped in the first book, and he has to set about to rescue her. Fantastic books, wonderfully told, based in part upon Wales a little bit, the scenery. He says it's not really a retelling of Welsh mythologies, but Wales and its mythologies have definitely influenced the series. Fantastic. Highly recommend them. Really, really quick and easy and fun reads. Highly recommend it. It's, this is an excellent series and a great place to start if you're just wanting to get into fantasy. The next book series is another one by Lloyd Alexander and is one of his young adult series. This is the Westmark Trilogy. The first book is The Kestrel, I believe it is called. This book takes place in the land of Westmark and follows Theo, who is our young protagonist and works in printing. He agrees to print a traveling showman's pamphlets, but the press ends up getting smashed and it sets off a series of events that cause him to help rescue the kingdom. He ends up being teamed up with a con artist. An urchin girl, a rogue doctor, and his dwarf assistant, and it is fantastic. They basically are trying to save the kingdom from Chief Minister Cabarrus, who is going about to wrest the kingdom from the king. I remember it being a really, really fantastic series. I need to reread it. It's been several years. I really enjoyed it just as much as his pre dane Chronicles. It's kind of has elements of flintlock fantasy because guns and things are a part of the series. It's really, really good. I highly recommend you check it out. It is just a really, really fantastic and fresh take on a flintlock fantasy book. The next book series I have to show you guys is one that is new to me, but I read the first book and thoroughly enjoyed it. And it is the Imaginarium Geographica by James A. Owen. The first book is Here There Be Dragons, and the next book is In Search of the Red Dragon. I read this book for the first time last month. It is a middle grade fantasy series. It takes, it is about a trio, John, Jack, and Charles, who find that they are to be the new caretakers of this land they call the Imaginarium Geographica, which is basically a world that runs parallel to ours that houses all of our mythologies, stories, mythological creatures, everything from the worlds that we have created live here. They exist, they are real, and they have to help protect this land from evil things, and it is fantastic. It's a really, really intelligently written middle grade series, easy to follow, really fun and engaging, has some really interesting twists that I was not expecting. I have not yet read The Red Dragon, but I can't wait to. We'll be doing so in March. It's also filled with wonderful, wonderful illustrations that I have shown in other videos, but we'll show you again such as this. It's just a really, really intelligently written book series and I highly recommend you check it out. The next series I have should come as no surprise. That is the Song of Lioness Quartet by Tamara Pierce. It is a middle grade series that kind of ends, well the first two books are middle grade, the next two books I would be, think would be considered more young adult, but it follows our protagonist Alana who with her and her twin brother Tom are to be sent away. Her to be learned to become a lady, her brother to learn to become a knight. But she wants to learn to become a knight and her brother wants to learn to become a sorcerer 
her. So she cuts off her hair and they trade places and she learns to become a knight and goes on many adventures protecting the kingdom of Tortal. This book series is fantastic. It's particularly wonderful for young female readers who it has Alana is a great role model for them. She is very independent, strong will, fights for what she believes in. Tamar Tamara Pierce has created a wonderful world in the realm of Tortal, so really all of her books were a fantastic read. They're either middle grade or young adult. Most of them after Alana I think would be considered young adult, but they all take place in the same world. And she has created a really, really wonderful world with fantastic strong female protagonists and it's just amazing. And when I was fifteen years old when I first read these, fourteen, fifteen, I just fell in love with Alana. Alana was my hero and I just think she makes a great role model for young readers. The next book series I have for you guys is also by Tamara Pierce, but it does not take place in the Tortal lands. It is in a new world all of its own, and it is the Circle of Magic Quartet. This is a middle grade series. It consists of Sandry's book, Triss's book, Daja's book and Briar's book. It basically follows these four children who have unusual powers even for their world and they are taken on by a group of three teachers who are to teach them to harness their powers and to control them better. And they soon overcome lots of obstacles, becoming friends, just things like that. Definitely certain coming of age elements to it. Just It's a really, really, really great refreshing book series. There is a companion quartet called The Circle Opens features these characters and I think there actually might be another one after that that I haven't read yet. But yes, just really, really good. Great for middle grade kids and even adults will find these entertaining. The next book series, you have seen me mention a lot on my channel. This is another book series that starts out middle grade and I would say ends young adult. And it is the Squire's Tale series by Gerald Morris. These are Arthurian retellings and they are excellently and hilariously done. He has created a really, really authentic and hilarious rendition of Arthurian tales. They are quick, easy reads. These are the first two in the series, Squire's Tales and The Squire of the Knight and His Lady. There are, I believe, 10 or 12 in the series altogether. I have yet to read the last two. But I read these back in high school, really enjoyed them. as what got me started in Arthurian literature. Really easy reads, and he has a lot of really funny moments in the stories, and he is really, really stays true to Arthurian legends. So if you're wanting to get into Arthurian legends, I think this is a great place to start. You'll be entertained, and they're a quick read. The next book series I want to mention is another Arthurian retelling series, and that is Merle and the Lost Years by T.A. Barron. I read, also read this one back in high school. These center around Merlin from his childhood all the way up through adulthood and his adventures and what he went on and what he accomplished. Really great, intelligently written, fantastic books. T.A. Barron has created a very, very wonderful and rich world. I cannot wait to reread these. I'm collecting these new editions so I can start rereading the series. I believe there are 12 altogether. I highly enjoyed them, and no, they have nothing to do with the TV series because I have had a few people ask me if they do. The next book series I have to tell you guys about is the Pelinor series by Alison Crogan. This is a young adult fantasy series but would be an excellent place to start if you're looking to get into fantasy. It follows our main character, 16-year-old Majra, who is rescued from slavery by the Bard Kavanan. He takes her on a journey to reach one of the Bard schools and along the way he kind of exhibits that he himself has some magical powers and she begins to exhibit signs of the gift as well. Cadman begins to suspect that Majra may actually be the one that was foretold to save the world because this world the Dark Lord has won, so this world is living under a place of slavery and duress and horrific things are happening. So he believes he, she might be the one to save this land, and so they kind of embark on a journey. She begins to learn more about her past and where she comes from and her gift and what all of this may mean, and different things happen. It is a beautifully and wonderfully told book. It is very lyrically told. She has, Alison Crockett has a really wonderful way of words, there isn't a lot of romance. There's a little bit of romance in this book, but not a lot that you see in young adult fantasy. Same thing with all of these books that I have shown. It's just a really, really fresh young adult fantasy book series, and I really, really enjoyed it. Highly recommend it. I believe she's also an Australian author. I believe she also is, was a poet by trade. I could be wrong on that, but it definitely, regardless, it definitely shows in the book. She has just a beautiful way of telling stories. The last book series I have to tell you guys about, The Green Rider series by Kristen Britton. This follows our young heroine, Kerrigan, who has been expelled from school, and soon she comes across this dying Green Rider, and he tasks her with delivering his message. Chris, she has always wanted to be one of the Green Riders who are an elite messenger group who use both horses and magic to deliver messages. The message that she is set to deliver on part of this dying messenger is that bad things are invading the land and bad things are starting to happen. So basically she has set upon on a journey to deliver this message to a mysterious court and of course bad things happen to her and she seeks 
and she ends up receiving help from unlikely places. Fantastic book series. I really enjoyed it. It was fast paced, highly engaging. I need to reread it because it's been years since I read it. And I think there was actually two more books out that I was not aware of because at the time it was only a trilogy. Anyway, I need to read it. Really recommend it. I think you will enjoy it. It's not your typical young adult fantasy series and it is thoroughly enjoyable. All right guys, those are my middle grade and young adult fantasy book recommendations. I hope you enjoyed them. I was trying to find books that people don't talk about a lot that you might find entertaining. I'm hoping to do another one sometime in the near future because I have read a lot more particularly in my high school years so look out for that one I don't know when it will be out but hopefully soon let me know down in the comments if there are any young adult or middle grade fantasy series that you are aware of that you don't hear people talking about and if you've read these and what your thoughts were thank you guys so much for watching and until next time happy reading bye